Hello, learners. Now let us see how to prove this uh, equation like 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square up to so on till n square is equal to this by mathematical induction. Now for that, for that, uh, I'm going to denote uh, this uh, state, this statement uh, as p of n. Let p of n be the statement. This is also a statement, okay, the, which is given. Let p of n be the statement. Just write down the equation which is given like this. This is the first step. Okay, I'm explaining in IP format, so you can just write as it is, you'll get full marks. Okay, don't worry about it. I've taken this uh, format from textbook and I'm giving as per the textbook format only. Now, uh, first, uh, first, you know, as per principle of mathematical induction, the statement should be true for n equal to 1. Now, and before that, before that, I'm going to take this sum on the left hand side, this sum on the left hand side, I'm going to take it as s of n. Let s of n is equal to 1 square plus 2 square plus 6 square up till n square as it is given in the textbook. Okay. Basically the format. Okay. Some steps have added here and there, which were so that it would be easy for your understanding. Now, uh, since S of one, if you'll see S of one is nothing but one square. And if you'll put uh, one on this side, okay. In the RH of this one into one plus two plus two into one plus one by six. See, there's nothing but one into one plus one is two. One into two into two plus one is three. One into two into three is nothing but six. Six by six is one. So basically one square is also one. That is, since these two are equal, okay, LH, uh, when you'll put n as 1, uh, this LHS and RHS is equal, that is 1 equal to 1, the formula is true for n equal to 1. This was the first thing that I had to prove, okay. Now next, I'm going to assume, assume that the statement P of n is true for n equal to k, okay. Assume that the statement P of n is true for n equal to k and k is greater than or equal to 1, okay. Don't forget to mention, okay. Please don't forget to mention this. Now, so S of K would be nothing but see what was my P of N states that you can see at the top. Okay, I've kept it at the top of each slide so that it would be easy to refer. You can P of N is nothing but 1 square plus 2 square up till N square is this. So S of K, would, so P of K, basically I'm going to put N equal to K. So that means my entire equation would change like this, something like this. And this one I denoted, at, denoted it as S of K. So basically S of K is equal to this sum and this is nothing but equal to this. So wherever you see... You know, the given equation, just put K, okay, that's it. Nothing uh, much to do with it. Now, now I have to prove that. Now we have to show that the formula is true for this formula, which is given is true for n equal to K plus one. That is, I have to show that S of K plus one is equal to this. Now, how did I get this? Okay, now how did I get this? You know, my guys might think very simple. See, uh, see, S of N is nothing but, uh, uh, S of N is nothing but this. Okay, now in place of N, just keep, k plus 1 in place of n just keep play k plus 1 here in place of n if i'll put k plus 1 i'd get here k plus 1 now uh if i in place of n if i'll put k plus 1 here k plus 1 plus 1 which is nothing but k plus 2 so here i'd get k plus 2 next in place of uh, n keep k plus 1 here 2 times k plus 1 plus 1 which means 2k plus 2 plus 1 which would be nothing but 2k plus 3 so that's what i got it here okay this would be method bracket and by 6 is there so this is what i need to show okay this is what i need to show now now let's come to the basic definition of s of k plus one see s of n is nothing but one square plus two square plus three square up till n square so s of k plus one is going to be one square plus two square plus three square up till so on till k plus one whole square and the last but one term is going to be k square okay now as per definition this one square plus two square plus three square up till k square what is this it's s of k right see it's s of k as per as per as per what we had taken there's nothing but s of k plus k plus 1 whole square. Now you, now if you see what is our s of k, our s of k is equal to k into k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 by 6. This is what I'm going to use it here. So since s of k is equal to this, my s of k plus 1 would be this. Just, you know, in the previous slide which you saw, where you saw that, you know, s of k was written, I just put uh, this uh, k into k plus 1 into 2k plus 1 by 6. Now, now listen, this is the actual part. Okay, how I'm simplifying. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. In these two terms, if you see, I can take k plus one common. Here there is k plus one square means k plus one into k plus one. So here there's one k plus one. So I'm gonna take k plus one common from these two terms. Okay. If I take k plus one common here, I'm left out with k into two k plus one by six and one k plus one. I took it common, so I'm left out with k plus one here. Now I'm gonna take LCM. So here the denominator is one. So basically the six would come here. Uh, this is what you would get plus six into K plus one divided. Now the denominator will become 
six for the entire for it entirely. Now, just multiply. Okay, k into two k would be two k square, and this would be plus k two k square plus k. Here I got six k plus six. Okay. Now, what is k plus six k? Seven k. So ultimately, I'm left out with k plus one into two k square plus seven k plus six. Now, uh, I hope you must be familiar with factorization. In case you are not, you can just listen to me. I'll just give it briefly, okay? Because this is not the purpose for, of this video. See, uh, uh, see the first and uh, uh, this one. See the coefficient of x square and the constant, okay? It's two, two in, and uh, this is six. What is two into six? Just multiply these two numbers. What's two into six? It's twelve. Now uh, write twelve as product of two terms such that their sum is equal to the center term seven, okay? Now I can write twelve as uh, one into twelve. 1 plus 12 is 13. That's not matching here. I can write 12 as 2 into 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. That's not matching here. I can write 12 as 3 into 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. It's matching here. That means I need to split this 7k as 4k plus 3k. Okay. Now let now in these two terms, first two terms, I'm going to take 2k as common. So here uh, in the first term, k would be left. And in the second term, 2 would be left. In the second next two terms, I'm going to take 3 common. So 3 into k plus 2, it will become. Now see. Now in these two terms, I'm going to take k plus 2 common. If I take k plus 2 common, I'd be left out with k plus 2 into 2k plus 3 by 6. Now, if you remember in the, like uh, previously I'd shown you that we need to show s of k plus 1. This is what I got, k plus 1 into k plus 2 into 2k plus 3 by 6. Therefore, s of k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 into k plus 2 into 2k plus 3 by 6. Whew. Yeah. Just uh, still some more things need to be written, okay, to get full marks. Okay, don't relax it. Uh, therefore, the formula holds for n equal to k plus 1. Now, by the principle of mathematical induction, p of n is true for all n belongs to n. That is the formula 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square of 10 square is equal to this is true for all n belongs to n. That's it. So, to summarize, basically, you need to show that, you know, the given statement is true for uh, n equal to 1, wherein I showed you s of 1 equal to this like that. And you need to assume that the given statement is true for n equal to k, like s of k I did. And then ultimately you need to show that the given st statement is true for n equal to k plus 1. Basically s of k plus 1 is equal to that we had proved, okay, uh, if you remember. So thank you very much for staying, uh, staying with me until now. If you like this video, please hit that like button. It will inspire me to make many more uh, videos like this. And if this is your first time coming across my channel, please do subscribe to it. Thank you very much.